morning. I uh, wanted to use my computer because I have a demo, but I don't know why it won't mirror the, the screen. Okay, so I am Alberto Garcia. I work as sysadmin at rentalia.com. <laughs> And I am a very lazy sysadmin, so I hate repetitive tasks, and I like to automate everything. So I'm going to tell you about making backups of VMs. Uh, since we are using Macula, I have to explain you a bit about it, uh, how to integrate it, and the demo, well, it's gone. Um, why I'm using backups instead of our uh, virtual machines with Puppet or another continuous delivery tool. Uh, we are doing that, uh, but we have some corner cases that it's worth it to, to keep backups and fire up a new virtual machine with the, these images we have or just to back up the death machines at the office. So let's talk about Bakula. It's an open source enterprise ready backup solution. We were already using it for about, I don't know, three, four years before Open Nebula. And it has some interesting things. You got the the run script directives, which you can use to launch scripts um, before the, the job, after the job, while retrieving the data. And you can fire up a script uh, instead of using a path to, to retrieve the data. So you can mm, find out where is the data at the time that the that the job is running. This is a, an example of backup. Bakula called this configuration uh, a job. It was uh, the name, a job definitions that is some sort of inheritance to inherit its params, and the client, which is the host target, and the file set, which is another definition with the the data you want to backup, the scheduler, the when do you want to make this backup, and the pool, where to store it. This is a file set. Um, the name, the options, compression, signature. And in this case, we're using a file, well, a div, which is home, a sample. And with this job, Bakula will retrieve all the files and their home sample and store it. But uh, what I want is to Bakula uh, uh, retrieve the, the disk images from my virtual machines. So we're going to use the, the tools that we already have at Open Nebula. We want to use the 1VM utilities. I was using 1VM disk snapshot, previous the latest release. Now it's disk safe fast. And the 1 image utilities to retrieve the, the info of the, the disk. And within Open Nebula, we have the, the client to point it to the front end because we are going to use the, the CLI from one admin user to execute this one VM, one image utilities. We're going to use this trick to execute a, a script, which is going to tell me after copy these images where it is, where did Open Nebula create it, and we want to delay the, the snapshot after that. So this will be a, a job that will work. 
this is the, the open nebula front end, and this is the, the clean script to remove the, the copy. The copy after it is stored at uh, uh, Bagula. And this is the file set with the trick to execute the script with the param sample.com, which is the, the virtual machine name. You can use the ID too. And it's going to make the 1VM safe as utility with the disk you want to, to back up, mainly the one that has the operating system in. And it's going to return the file path to the, to the disk images. This is the, the content of, the, of this script. You give it the, the machine ID or, or name. It's going to create this other uh, disk image based on the, in this case, the zero uh, image ID from the virtual machine. And we are only making backups of running VMs. So if it is not running, it won't work. Uh, this is because this is a, it is a snapshot, so it won't work if the machine is not running. Or I don't care mm, making a backup of an image that is not running because, well, if it's not running, it's because of reasons. So, and finally, we return the, the path where the new image is created from the one image so um, finally after the backup is done we can remove the snapshot we created. There are some problems with this. Macula needs to connect us or establish a connection with one admin user so he can make use of on one admin tools, and we need to wait for the ready status on the new image. <laughs> or what well, will be copying a image that is still being copied. And the storage ID to backup, uh, we've been using zero because well, uh, it's always the first image usually. When you fire up a template and look for the disk to add, you always use zero with the, with the main image. Uh, the first thing you can fix it with this, just starting the Bakula, Bakula software with user one admin and group one admin. So once he connects to the front end, it will start the script with the, with the user. And for well, waiting for the array status, you just fire uh, until done on the new image. The zero thing, mm, it worked for me. I didn't think about it really because, well, I always, when I fire up a template, I always look for the disk I am interested of, of so it worked for me. But a better solution will be to um, maybe grab for a particular uh, <clears throat> a para parameter from the VM template, which is with can tell me uh, this is the, the appropriate disk. Uh, we are using, we, are, we tend to label the main disk with the OS. Well, I mean, the image uh, which contains the OS within the virtual machine uh, is a, a OS uh, file, sorry, <laughs> a OS, uh, image type. Mm -hmm. It's not file, it's not data block, it's OS. So we just grab for the OS image within the 
uh, one VM, and we back, back up this one. We fetch it, we make the snapshot, and when it's done, we return the, the path to it. Uh, I don't have the demo, but what I was going to show you is that this way, when you fire up this, this work, uh, Bakula is going to connect to the front end, and he's going to execute first this script, which is file.h, the last one I show you, and he's going to make the, the snapshot of the running VM. He's going to return at this parameter the file path. Uh, Bakula is going to retrieve it with compression, and after it is done, he's going to remove the, the snapshot created. So we already have it on Open Nebula. And we can use Open Nebula to store it, to keep versions, to do incremental backups, or whatever we can, we, we want. And to restore it, we just use Open Nebula again, launch a restore job, and, and import the, the image. Um, that's it. Seems like I can show you the demo, so. If you have any questions or something. Good morning, I have two questions. The first one is, uh, do you care about the, the file system's coherence? So if you, you, you take a snapshot, the, the file system is not uh, inconsistent. So do you care about that problem? And the second question is, uh, you have images uh, of uh, virtual disks, you back up the snapshots. Uh, so what, what is the size of the snapshot? So you, you need to back up every day or every, every time the, 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 the full size of the, the virtual disk uh, in backup? Because we, we, do, uh, we use Bakula and we do the, the backup inside the VM and so we, we can do incremental backups to, to save space. And that's my two questions. Well, the thing is, um, we already use Puppet to have the configuration safe. So using Bakula is more for another, for corner cases. Um, where I am, I have interest of mm, saving the, the VM uh, uh, this is entire, uh, as a golden image to just import it and work it again with them. Uh, about the, the space it takes, uh, at the demo, I used in an image from the marketplace, which is 1.5 gigas, I think, and Bakula compressed it to uh, 300 megabytes, I think. Um, about the file system consistency, um, they are all persistent images, so, um, well, sorry, I just, <laughs> uh, could you repeat the question, the first question? The, 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 the problem, uh, if, Okay. Uh, the the problem if you if you take a snapshot, the file system will not be consistent. Uh, if the if the, the snapshot is not cooperative with the with the OS uh, using, for example, Linux uh, FS freeze or or similar things for for Windows Server, uh, you won't you will not have a, a consistent file system, and you should do a FSCK. Uh, Next time you use the backup, do you understand what? It, it, it's exactly um, the same thing. That you, you have a running operating system. You you switch off the the the, 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 the power and you save the, the the image of the disk. You do a DD of the disk. You have the, the, the file system in the state where uh, when it was running. 
Uh, yeah, it is a consistent. I mean, when you make. Uh, I'm not sure if uh, I got you right, but um, the utility is to copy the the disk of its own, uh, not make a, a snapshot and then um, go back or go forward using the, the original disk. It's a, it's a utility for make a, a copy, a consistent copy of the of the running VM. So I think it is a, it has a consistent file system inside it. Any other questions for Alberto? Okay then. Sorry about the demo. Thank you.